BW Legal World. Today we have with us Ms. Shweta Bharti, Managing Partner, Hammurabi and Solomon Partners. Ms. Bharti, what do you think about the ADR landscape with the Mediation Act to 2023 coming up? How do you see it change the mediation landscape and also contribute towards the ADR domain? Well, so today I'm not speaking on ADR. It is on insolvency and mediation. However, because the topic that you have asked is something very close to my heart, ADR, the, the very essential ingredient of ADR is mediation. So ADR is about alternate dispute resolution. And in the alternate dispute resolution, we have also considered mediation and conciliation to be a very integral part of it. And going forward, post the coming into effect of the Mediation Act 2023, I think it will give a certain amount of push which was not there yet to the mediation as such. However, if you look at India as a jurisdiction and the contracts that we have been drafting in, in India, usually you will have the contracts which are multi-tiered in terms of dispute resolution. The first being that it will be resolved by way of you know, a settlement through a process of negotiation. Second would come as a mediation process and then comes the uh, arbitration as a process. So I think mediation in some manner has been inbuilt in the ADR process of India for a very long time through our contracts. Now because of the coming into effect of the Mediation Act 2023, I see there to be a sea change in terms of how resolution of disputes were happening and I see there to be a positive change because mediation is likely to resolve a lot of those disputes and say in a dispute which is about 10 issues or 10 claims, there could be four or five which could be resolved through mediation and only the rest could come to the arbitrator for dispute resolution. So I see there to be a lot of positives and this definitely to be a positive uh, development by coming into effect of the Mediation Act 2023. Right. Uh, how do you think the intersection between mediation and insolvency, how do you see that? So that is something that we are going to talk about today and it is a very interesting question also and a very interesting concept also. So if you look at the framework that has come in January of 2024, which is, uh, which is by the committee. So the, this committee has actually you know, thought through this whole process. How is uh, mediation going to come into insolvency regime? Now insolvency regime is a very broad regime. There, it, is, it is basically an issue which is in REM. So when it is an issue in REM, how do you have mediation with respect to two parties in personam, as, as we say? So I think that is one aspect that is to be taken into consideration and has been discussed by the committee. Second is about the time-bound manner in which the resolution has to happen because in this process of mediation, is it going to derail the process? Is it going to prolong the process? Or is it going to be within the time frame that has been provided for, uh, for resolution of uh, you know, the entire CIRP process? So I think when the committee has thought through it, they have thought through all of this. And the recommendation that the committee has given is that the time limit will not be extended. It will be done within the framework. And that it will be kept out of the Mediation Act 2023 is something that also has been recommended. Because the Mediation Act in itself provides for about six months time period. So that would be too much of you know, time which will be wasted in terms of mediation. They want to keep it within 30 days. And therefore they want to keep it as an exclusion to the present Mediation Act. But it definitely is a very positive uh, step. And there are a lot of disputes that I see getting resolved through mediation and does not need to go before the NCLT as such. And there are different layers in which you know, the matters go, can be sent to mediation. So at the stage of Section 60 application also when it is filed before the NCLT, those are the kind of stages when the matters can actually be sent for mediation and be resolved. So I think there is a lot of positive change which will, which will come if mediation is introduced into insolvency. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely speaking to you. Thank you.